Alright, so in this video I'm going to talk about subatomic particles. So what are subatomic particles? Well, as the name simply implies, subatomic particles are particles that exist below the atomic level. So they're smaller than atoms and they actually make up atoms. Now the three subatomic particles that we're going to be talking about in this video are protons, electrons, and neutrons. And I'd like to bring to your attention at this time that protons, electrons, and neutrons are not the only subatomic particles that exist. There do exist other subatomic particles. Particles like alpha particles, beta particles, gamma photons, positrons, neutrinos, things like that. Some of you may, you know, may be familiar with uh, these particles. Some of you may be thinking, what the hell is this guy talking about? But for now, just understand that there, there do exist other subatomic particles. But in this video, we're just going to go over the three main subatomic particles, protons, electrons, and neutrons. So in this table, we have the relative masses and charges, electrical charges, of protons, electrons, and neutrons. So let's see if we can sort of draw any conclusions uh, from this table. So a proton has a mass of 1.673 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms and a charge of positive 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Notice that the electron has the same charge as a proton but opposite in magnitude. The charge of the electron is negative 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 just like like I said just like the proton but uh, negative and the mass of the electron however is much much orders of magnitude smaller. So the mass of the electron is 9.109 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms that is really 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 almost negligibly small. And then moving on to the neutron, the neutron doesn't have any charge at all, but it has a mass that is about the same as the proton. One, instead of 1.673 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms, it is 1.675 times 10 to the, 20, to the negative 27 kilograms. So there you have it. Those are the masses and charges of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Now that's all fine and great that we know these masses and charges, but a lot of these numbers are pretty lengthy. You know, scientific uh, notation can be, can be pretty long-winded at times. So this is where we introduce a different unit. So let's just talk about mass first. And like I said, in order to you know veer away from this long-winded scientific notation, let us introduce the atomic mass unit, or AMU. The atomic, the atomic mass unit is defined as 1 12th the mass of a carbon-12 atom. So a carbon-12 atom has 6 protons and 6 neutrons. If we take the mass of that carbon-12 atom and we divide it, divide it by 12, we'll get our atomic mass unit. So now, let's fill out this portion of the table, this mass column, but instead of kilograms, Let's express these masses in terms of atomic mass units. If we express the, the mass of a proton in AMU, we'll get that the proton is about 1.00727. I think that's the exact mass of a proton or at least it's the mass of a proton carried out to five decimal places. So the mass of a proton is 1.00727 AMU. If we express the mass of a neutron in AMU, we'll get that the mass of a neutron is 1.00866. So notice that, again, we're not changing these masses, we're just converting them to a different unit. And the masses of the proton and the neutron are still very, very close to one another. But if we express, if we express the mass of the electron in AMU, we'll get a number much smaller, right? Because the mass of an electron is so small. And in AMU, the mass of an electron is 0 0.0055, excuse me. 0 0.00055 AMU. Like I said, notice that the masses of the proton and the neutron are 
almost equal. So in practice, we usually say that the mass of a proton is one AMU and the mass of, an, of a neutron is also one AMU. That just makes that just makes our calculations a little bit easier, but it's important to know that the neutron is slightly heavier than the proton. And now we have charge. Uh, we say that the charge of a proton is 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. That's a little long-winded as well, so let's try to express these two terms in relative charge. And the way that we do this is just by simply saying that the proton has a charge of plus one and that the electron has a charge of minus one. So be careful. Just because we say that the proton has a charge of plus one, that does not mean that the proton has a charge of one coulomb. It means we have one times the elementary charge, 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And the same could be said for the electron. The electron does not have a charge of minus one coulomb. It's minus one times the elementary charge, 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. In relative terms, the neutron still has zero charge, so we don't have to worry about that. So there you go. That is a summary of these three subatomic particles.